All right, now that the keyboard is starting to make a little more sense, let's try putting it into action and create a pattern of our own. I'll use the function clear shortcut that I told you about in the last tutorial to clear the pattern. Now, I'll press the record button on its own so that the light is blinking. When you do this, Volca Bass starts recording immediately on step one the moment you hit a step key. It's a good idea to start this way as it can be pretty tricky to hit a note exactly on step one once it's looping. And if you don't start on step one, the pattern may not move smoothly to one of the other eight patterns within the memory locations of Volca Bass. You'll notice that once the recording has begun, that Volca Bass will just keep on looping. This is awesome because you can surgically tap in additional notes on the step keys that might otherwise be physically challenging to play. If at any point you feel that the pattern is sounding good and you want to leave it as is, simply press the record button again so that it's deselected. Now the pattern will play back repeatedly, but pressing a step button will not alter the pattern. Now I can press the play button again to stop the pattern, or I can use the memory button in conjunction with the memory location and go to a different pattern. The only thing to know that is of huge importance is that the pattern is not saved. This means that if I do change to a different memory location or turn Volca Bass off, my pattern will be lost. The only way to avoid this is by saving your pattern to a memory location. Let's take a look at how to do this in the next tutorial.